Hi, this is Tamika, and today is day 11 of the 21 Days to Loving You Better Challenge. This is actually sort of our hump period and getting over the hump of our 21 days. And again, remember, the reason why we're doing this is that research shows that if we do something consecutively for 21 days, then chances are we will establish a habit of doing that thing. So we are on day 11 with only 10 more days to go. So we're more than halfway done at this point. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Today I want to talk a little bit about something that I mentioned in my entry video. And I talked about the fact that I wanted to journal, and each day I wanted to be able to look back over my day and figure out what went right and what went wrong. And maybe I'll rephrase that wrong by saying what probably could have gone a little bit better. So if we keep it on a positive note, what could we have done a little bit better? And when I do sort of that daily reflecting, what it does is it enables me to go about the next day being armed with better information. So let me give you a perfect example. At some point um, in the beginning of the year, I found myself eating oatmeal. And I I sort of used the justification that oatmeal was good because it was um, good in fiber, and I needed the fiber to help keep me regular. And those of you who are in the weight loss surgery community know that that's something that we really need to concentrate on at some point. So I started eating this oatmeal. And I was eating the oatmeal just about every morning. And then I was realizing that I was getting hungry for lunch earlier and earlier in the day. And I was actually feeling hunger. And hunger is something that I am going on 15 months being post-op. And for the first year, I can't necessarily say that I really felt hungry that much. For the most part, I would feel my tummy grumble, and then it would sort of be an indicator that I needed to eat. But I didn't feel the hunger. And so when I started sitting back and I was looking over my food journals and thinking about what I was eating, all of a sudden one day it just sort of hit me. Ding, 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 ding. Oatmeal is carbs. Yeah, it's a complex carbs, but it's carbs. And carbs don't work well with you. They make you want more and more, and they make you hungry sooner than you need to be hungry. Now, had I not necessarily listened to my body and took the time out to do the reflecting, I probably would have gone on for a while eating that oatmeal. So for me, this is something that definitely works. I've done it throughout my journey I've really taken the time out to sit down and figure out what works for me in terms of exercise and in terms of eating and what doesn't work. I wanted to share that tip with you all and, you know, just let you know that it's okay to take the time out during your quiet time to really sit down, reflect, figure out what's going on in terms of what you're doing as far as your weight loss with your exercise, which ones are working and which ones just really don't work for you. And sometimes we get burnt out um, and don't want to exercise because the exercises that we're choosing aren't necessarily anything that bring any type of enjoyment um, or they hurt. And so then what happens is we walk away from it and we say, forget it, I don't want to exercise, opposed to saying, you know what, Running might not be the thing for me, but I can go and take a dance class at the gym because I like to dance, and that can, um, you know, be my cardio. So take that time out to reflect. Take the time out. Do the same thing with your food and with all of the rules, with your vitamins, which ones work and which ones don't. Some of them leave a chalky taste in your mouth, and you, you know, tend to want to skip them. But then if you keep trying and get to the point that you like, chances are you'll do it on a routine and consistent basis. So trial and error, figuring out what works, figuring out what doesn't work, and then sort of lining up with all the things that work. So my journal focus for you today would be try it out tonight. Look back over your day and just do a little checklist. These are all the things that worked. These are all the things that could have worked a little bit better. And then take it a step further by asking yourselves, 
what can I do to make things, these things that need to work a little bit better, better? What can I do to make them better? And then tomorrow, make sure that you implement those things. Okay, I hope this helps someone. And, again, remember, I've already uh, shared weekly challenge question number two. So your responses are due by this coming Sunday. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.